Hi there, RC Girl here. Today we have the UMX Timber from Horizon Hobby. This thing is so freaking cool. This is the scaled down version of the larger 1.5 meter timber, which I also have and is super fun and stable. This thing has flaps, functional lights, also Horizon Hobby's AS3X stabilization, so it's gonna be nice and stable for you in the air. And it also has safe select, which you can flip on, and it's gonna limit your controls a little bit for those that are learning. It's gonna be a great park flyer. It looks like it has a lot of power. I'm a big fan of bush planes or stall planes, short takeoff and landing planes, and it's super cool. And it's really cute. Today I'll show you guys what comes in this box, go over the features of the plane, share what you'll need to complete this, and then we're gonna take it to the park and get it up in the air. So stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So if you guys wanna see more, make sure to like and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram and Facebook, which I will put links to here. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And I also just opened up Patreon. So thank you to the new patrons that have just joined. And huge, huge thank you to Julian Sonderager. All right, let's take a look in the box. Comes with a cool little carry case here. Easy to transport this to the field. Everything came pre-assembled, so no assembly required. So this is everything that comes in the kit. So you're gonna get your instructions packet. This is gonna tell you how to program the plane. Then it comes with the attachment for your floats and all the hardware for that. Does not come with floats, but it does come with the hardware that you need. And it comes with leading edge slats here. So these are gonna attach right here. You access the battery compartment here. It's magnetized. So you just pull this off from the front and you lift it off. Two little magnets there holding it on. And here's the inside of our little compartment. So your battery is gonna attach here. It came actually with the loop Velcro here. I always find that the stock Velcro isn't strong enough to hold the batteries in place. So I just had my own that I put on here. Here we have our 3400 KV motor here. These are exhaust vents, but they look like little whiskers when the plane's assembled. Kind of cute. Got our big bush tires here. These are nice and firm. Good for landing on grass or gravel. You're gonna wanna pick up a couple of these batteries. So these are the 280 milliamp batteries from E-Flight and got quite a few of these. So this will give you about a five or six minute flight time depending on how aggressive that you fly. As I mentioned, you're gonna need a six or more channel transmitter. So I have a Spectrum DX6 here and you have ailerons, elevator, rudder, motor, then you have your flaps and then your six channel, sorry, my, I'm holding with my camera with my other hand. Your six channel is gonna be safe select. That's why you need six, even though there's actually technically only five channels for the plane. Power this on. UMX Timber, all right, we got it all programmed in. Another thing I did is I program a throttle kill. Always good practice to do that. So I set safe select to switch C here. My flaps I set to switch G here. So you're gonna have your takeoff flaps and your landing flaps. Okay, I think that is it. I set my flight timer. Actually, I set my flight timer to six. I'm actually getting only about five minutes. So I would suggest setting that to five just to be safe. Let's take it to the field. All right, here we are at the flying field. It's a little bit windy out. We got some drone racers behind us. So you might hear a little bit of background noise. You can see the flags waving. We're going to take off into the wind. So we got our UMX timber here. I also brought my giant timber. This is the original 1.5 meter timber. I don't really think you can have too many timbers, to be honest. Got everything programmed in our DX6. We're going to pop off our little battery cavity here, plug in our battery. And as I mentioned, I replaced all of the Velcro on the batteries and inside on the interior, just to get a little bit more grip than the stock. I'm gonna plug that in. You're gonna hear a little bit of buzzing and that's normal for linear servos. It's just gonna have that kind of like jittery sound, totally normal. 
it's gonna make that noise. So I think we are ready to go. Got our throttle kill on. All right. All right, there's a couple ways you can take off. You can take off from the ground or you can hand launch it. So let's try a ground takeoff. Set that down. It's a little bit windy, but this should be able to handle some wind. We have our AS3X stabilization. And let's see. We're gonna do half flap takeoff. Turn our throttle kill off. <laughs> and go. I'm gonna turn our flaps off. And there we go, we're flying. Nice. It's pretty fast for a little guy. All right, this is dead stick to give you a sense of our glide slope into the wind. <laughs> it's crazy. Whee! It's so cute. Got a lot of RC happening today. Nice. We. So this is with our safe select turned on. That's full sticks. So you're gonna get, definitely, it's gonna cut down your controls quite a bit. We add a little rudder there. Okay. So you're not gonna be able to roll the plane. All right, let's get, bring it around. We're gonna add half flaps. See if we can do a touch and go. Add a little bit more throttle. A little bit of rudder to keep it straight on our runway. Nice. This play is super fun. <laughs> So I just started uh, kind of doing tricks in real life. I could do a lot of stuff in the simulator, but I'm not a super confident flyer in the field. So I'm definitely working on that. This is hopefully gonna build my confidence. But what I've been doing is using safe select. And then when I wanna do a trick, I'll flip it into experience mode. And then when I'm finished doing the trick, I'll flip it into safe select again. So it'll um, correct anything if I get out of control. So on our next pass, we're gonna try and do a back roll. Okay, we got experience mode. Nice. All right, so then I'm a little bit high, <laughs> probably around six mistakes high with this little guy. All right, I'll bring it around again. Super fun though, really stable, nice and gentle. As I mentioned, I wouldn't get this for your first plane unless you're buddy boxing with someone or like have a lot of simulator time. Uh, because it does have flaps and it doesn't have three flight modes, only has two. But definitely for a second plane, no problem. And this would be fun to get like a couple of them with your friends, for sure. All right, let's do a full flap landing. I'm gonna bring it around. Whee. Little flare there. Nice. Turn the flaps off. So fun. All right, so now we're gonna give it to a more experienced pilot and you guys can see the aerobatic capabilities. Cause this is technically, it's a sport plane um, and you're gonna get, you're gonna be able to do some cool moves with it. So let's take it away. Got Mountain Mike on the sticks, <laughs> ripping packs. <laughs> All right. Got flaps and we're gonna do a hand launch takeoff. So, and you're gonna wanna throttle up and give it a little toss. Off it goes. Sweet. 
All right, so where were we? We're gonna try vertical, see how much vertical we have. Basically go straight up to the sky. Wheel. Up we go. Wow. We lost uh, focus here. Lost the plane. And vertical. Yeah, hover. You can hover it. Well, Is that because of the battery? Yeah. We. <laughs> Upside down. All right, now we're gonna do a loop. Wee! <laughs> Super capable little thing. Flaps initiated. Gonna bring it down. Do a little touch and go here. Little one wheel touch and go. Do that on purpose. What if I just slide over here? <laughs> nice. Got a little audience. Are you guys the one with the RC cars? No. No, mine, uh, mine are back. Well, I haven't even walked that. I've seen some out here. Yeah, there were some over here today. It's an RC car with wings. Nice. Thanks, see ya. And bring it around. It's busy here today. All right, so we're gonna do our second flight. Now that you guys can see what this is capable of, I'm just gonna have some fun with it and kill the rest of my battery. All right, do a half flap takeoff, turn off our throttle kill. We're gonna be make sure that our controls are working. I've been flying for about two years on and off, so I'd consider myself a beginner immediate. I can do tricks in the simulator. I have flown various models, but mostly high wing models. This would make a great second plane for somebody. Has little whiskers, so cute. All right, there you got the UMX Timber, UMX Turbo Timber. So fun, great little park flyer. You're gonna have hours of fun with this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you later.